Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel, Mariah DeVita here and today I have a makeup collection and storage video for you guys. So if you guys would like to see how I organize and store my makeup then please continue to keep on watching. So well, let's get started on this side. This is the left side of my vanity table and on this side this is where I have my palettes and um a little jar with my pigments so on this side right here um i got this bin from muji um we actually have a store here in canada downtown at young and dundas for people who don't know i'm sure there's a lot of people who do know already but that is the only muji store i believe in canada correct me if i'm wrong but um, I didn't want to order them online and then when I found out they were coming to Canada, I went and I got a lot of my organization from them. So I got this bin. It was really inexpensive. It was probably about like, I don't know, like $10. And it just fits my palettes and everything, what have you. Not all of them because as you can see, I have some laid down here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then kind of show you my palettes, what I have down here right here at the bottom just pull this aside i have a coastal scents palette which is full filled with coastal scent shadows um i filled it all it has about 28 i believe eyeshadows or i can those so there's that palette and then i have a z palette filled with Sorry, there's like a car passing by and my window is open. With Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And then I have three La Femme blushes in here. But all of these eyeshadows are Makeup Geek shadows. So there's that palette. And then I have the infamous Morphe Brushes 35O palette. It's so I have this one that's filled with 10 and then I have this one which I just recently got from iMats. That was for in my previous video and honestly I have two of the same eyeshadow now but I don't really care because it's a really nice color. That's 311. I have two of those now but whatever. So there's that palette that's not finished yet and then I have my Inglot blush palettes. So those are the colors that I got in my last video that I showed you guys. So that's my Inglot palettes. And I'm not going to go through it because like I finished organizing my makeup today just so I could honestly typically just have my makeup all more organized than it was before because it was chaotic. And um, because it was so organized and I just finished doing my haul with Jenny yesterday i was like okay let me just record my makeup collection video because it's been requested and jenny's been harassing me so i was like okay let me just get this video out the way so i have basically i have like the electric palette i have a sleek palette that's so hard to open i have a sugar pill palette i have the makeup forever artist palette i have both Too faced chocolate bar palettes i have the urban decay this is I Love, I think it's the I Love New York palette. So, tons of those. And they have like an eye transforming gel that I like to use. It's from the um, brand Perry Beauty. I actually got this in my school kit. So, I love using this to adhere my glitters. And then I have just a whole bunch of glitters in here. I have glitter from MAC, um, from Violet Vaz, from Mika Bella, from actually from like um, Walmart, that Martha Stewart craft kit i have stuff from there so that's this section oh and then this is glitter from like the dollar store in jenny's area she uses these they're really actually nice they're really finely milled glitters i just have to get a couple of containers to put them in but they're a bunch of purples so yeah there's those sitting there so the majority of my makeup like these are the four muji mole yeah, I got four Muji drawers. 
um, and they're just stacked on top of each other. So I have four Muji drawers. One, two, three. Sorry, I have four Muji drawers that um, have two, um, what are these, drawers, and I just stacked them on. So there's eight in total. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I have in these drawers, but first, start off at the top. Some typical things that I like to keep on the top of my thing, and honestly, it's just because it can't fit in any other drawer. Um, they're not like wide enough to fit these in there so I just have some like banana powder back here my Marc Jacobs foundation up here and then I have my sprays I have my um Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray I have this is a prep and prime bottle but it has brush cleaner in it so like I spot clean my brushes with that and then I have just regular fix plus and then I have my face moisturizer which is Nivea cream I have my Ben Nye banana powder that um, I just like to put in this little container and then I refill it with the big size every now and then. I have my Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Cream and then I have three powders here. Two of them are Studio Fix. The bottom is a Pro Longwear Powder. And then I have a highlighter from MAC. This is Whisper of Guilt. And then I have my Full Coverage Foundation under there. And then I have my two Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighters. This is Peach and Nectar beautiful and so Hollywood but you guys have seen so many videos but um I love mixing these two highlighters with my other highlighters like so Hollywood and cheeky bronze mineralized skinny mineralized skin finish by Mac looks so freaking good together it's ridiculous so I just have two of my well this is the same concealer just one's just almost done and then I have my back out just out now and that's my pro long wear concealer and nc45 then i have my nars orgasm illuminator liquid illuminator and then i have my um lit clearly liquid glitter base the larger size version and the travel size version and then i have my um highlighter from mac as well so now we're gonna move into the drawers of my muji case in this first drawer, um, these are just my foundations that I wear. I have my Pro Longwear Estee Lauder Studio Fix Fluid. Then I have my Prep and Prime Skin Base um, Primer. I have my Kat Von D, my NARS, my favorite blush from MAC, which is Peaches. And then I have my um, Prep and Prime Peach Luster Corrector Stick. I have my Becca, um, what is this? The Ever Matte, um poreless priming perfector primer and then i have my uh pure pure white paint stick in white and then i have my um inglot contour powder in 512 so that's in that first drawer my face stuff basically my highlighters and like contour powders and blushes so i have like max cheeky bronze warm soul gold deposit sleek three contour kit I have two blushes from sleek uh, mineralized blush uh, la femme blush uh, Becca rose gold highlighter the Toledo um, blush and then I have a highlighter from Ruby kisses underneath there and that's uh, this drawer Third drawer this is just where I keep my like loose pigments and well some like these two are loose pigments actually all three of them are loose pigment stacks from the brand faces cosmetics but there aren't many stores left that was the first makeup store that i ever worked in at 16 years old but um i'm 22 now so yeah not many are left um but then the rest are my glitters so these are all my eye candy glitters and then these ones are the laminate glitters from ebay and then all my lit glitters. And then I have Inglot Duraline and another lit um, liquid base. So that's that. More glitter. Those. Um, some of them are from Yaby Cosmetics, um, Coastal Scents, MAC, Single Shadows from like their collections, Milani Eyeshadows, Makeup Geek Pigments right here. 
so Ava um yeah they're just a little bit bigger and then like mini palettes like um from faces from mac and from like makeup forever hold up a little bit more but this is what could fit in here i just have two highlighters that couldn't fit in my other highlighter drawer obviously because it's like ram packed but this is my color pop highlighter in avalon i love this color and then my nars um albatross highlighter and then i have some more like smaller palettes from like MAC. All four of these are from MAC and then like faces. So that's what I have in that drawer. In the second last drawer, I have my MAC pigments. All the MAC pigments that I have. Except for two. Two of them are, the two of the smaller ones are in the lower drawer. And then, sorry that was out of frame. And then all the bigger ones are in this drawer and then I have all of my ColourPop eyeshadows so let's do a close up of all my ColourPop and my MAC pigments so that's that drawer all my loose pigments <laughs> so I have quite a few uh, loose pigments from MAC in like sample sizes and then like I was saying, I have a few sample sizes from MAC, and then all of the clear ones are from Pure Lux Pigments, and then like I was saying earlier, I have two MAC ones, but they're small, and then these three are from Inglot. These three are so pretty, and then these four are from Mika Bella. So, and then this one's from NYX. So, yeah, this is my pigment drawer. I have a lot of pigments. Brushes that I have, like, lying down flat because a lot of those are new. And then some of them were used for eye mats. So, I just washed them and they're now just laying flat drying. So, those are some of my brushes that I have that are laying flat. And so, now I'm going to work my way into this little section of my lips and everything in those little compartment drawers. It's my lip area. And basically, I have these acrylic organizers, lipstick holders, that I bought off of Solutions. Honestly, I got that tip when I was trying to formulate my, um, my organization and everything from Amy Macedo. Um, she is also a fellow Canadian YouTuber. Um, and yeah, I watch her videos. I love her. She's dope so a lot of my organizing tips i actually got from her like from her um tips and tricks and suggestions and stuff so solutions is where i first got my lipstick holders so yeah and then i have this one i got from jenny when she used to sell them in her store um i got that from her but yeah these ones are from solutions and then i have another one of these so yeah, I have my lipsticks here. This is just my single Tom Ford lipstick that's not going to fit in a lipstick holder. So I just keep it here. Some dual glue. And then I have um, two Maybellines here. Lime Crime. Yes, I know there's a scandal with Lime Crime. But I paid my money and a nice amount of money for these lipsticks. So I do wear them still. Um, I hardly ever wear Mint to Be. But I definitely like the Lilac. I really do. And, yeah, I really don't care. Like, I spent my money, I'm going to wear it. But I don't really, like, advertise that it's Lime Crime. I have um, two limited edition um, MAC lipsticks. The ones from the Kate Osborne, Kate, Kelly Osborne and Sharon and everything. Then I have two v uh, Viva Glam. I have both of the Viva Glam Rihanna's. The red and the purple. And then I have a bunch of MAC lipsticks back here. Some NYX butter lipsticks. Two gel fresh lipsticks which are actually really good quality. Um, so if you've never tried out Joe, Cosme Joe Fresh Cosmetics, definitely try that. I have two other Maybelline Color Sensation lipsticks. And then I have um, two more NYX lipsticks. One's a macaroon and one is a matte. I have an Artisy In lipstick back here that's like a matte blue. And then in this section I have and then I have um LA Girl uh, glaze lip paints, uh 
the Viva Glam Rihanna Red Lip Gloss, some NYX Butter Lip Glosses. I have three ColourPop Liquid Lipsticks. I have Obsessive Compulsive in the old packaging. Um, the Lip Tars, if anybody remembers these packaging, I still have them. And then I have five J-Cat Wonder Lip Paints, which is basically a dupe for the OCC Lip Tars. And then that right there is a bunch of lashes that I've been using, and yeah. So, going into the drawers now, have a bunch of liners. So I have the MAC um, Fuller Gel Liners, Inglot Liner, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, my um, Urban Decay Primer Potion, some mascaras, and some mis miscellaneous eyeliners. And then at the bottom here, I have um, not a lot because I don't really rock lip liners that much, but just a bunch of lip liners, which honestly, like, it's not much. But I have some from Jeffree Star, Kat Von D, Sephora, LA Splash. Under, I have um, a bunch of MAC lipsticks. I could put them in the other lip organizer that I have, but it wouldn't fit on top of here. So I don't like how it would look if I put it just on top of the table. So I'm just trying to figure that out. So I just have the rest of them in here in this compartment. And then I have some miscellaneous lipsticks like from the lip bar or from limited edition, like the MAC Toledo lipstick and then like... This is from Ruby no, Kiss New York. This is kind of like the lilac from Lime Crime, but just a little bit more pasty, like ashy kind of. So I have to put something over top of it, but that's that drawer. This is, I just have all my short lip glosses here, like NYX and then my MAC lip glasses. And then I have all my longer lip, gloss, lip glosses like MAC Cream Sheen, Dazzle Glass, um, Makeup Forever, NYX, things like that these um glass jars from the dollar store dollarama here in canada um earlier like i had a bunch of beads um and gems stuck in so that i could stick my brushes in but because my brush collection has grown so much it was starting to take up a lot more space so i needed to just remove all of those out of the containers and just pop them in here i mean I have way more brushes laying down flat. I, I need to get a bigger brush organization plan. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. But I'm working with what I have. So I just pop them in here. These are my eye brushes. And then these are my face brushes. Again, I have a variety of brushes. Some are from um, Real Technique, Zoeva, um, Morphe brushes, of course, MAC, Walmart. Um, yeah. And then in this basket right here, I'll pull it out for you guys to see. Um, it's just a bin just filled with lashes. So I have some Coco lashes, um, Shop Violet Boss lashes that I got yesterday, um, some beauty supply store lashes like from Kiss, um, and like Red Cherry lashes, really inexpensive lashes. I like to buy my lashes online majority of the time. Um... Just because I find I get better deals online as opposed to like some simple stores down here. So that is where I purchase my lashes. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for my makeup collection. It's not the biggest collection in the world, but it's also not the smallest. Um, so if you do see any tips and tricks um, from my video feel free to use that and help for your makeup collection if you have any suggestions for mine maybe I can find some better brush storage then let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video